And Hurricane Irma recovery is our top story tonight. Good afternoon, I'm Stephanie Roberts. And I'm Scott Dennis. Welcome to our special expanded coverage of Hurricane Irma's aftermath. While much of the Sun Coast may have dodged a bullet when it came to winds, it is flooding that is now a major issue. Reporter Kevin Fry joins us now live from Arcadia, where the Peace River is cresting way above flood stage in the wake of Hurricane Irma. It is indeed there, Stephanie, and we're about a quarter mile or so from the river banks itself, and as you can see, we're in about well, a little over ankle deep water here. It gets a little deeper depending on where you go. Behind me is a campground where hundreds, I'm being told, RVs and whatnot have been evacuated during out throughout all of this, and now they're sending back boats in there to look around. They've also been trying to get their cars out of here throughout this whole entire day. Now, this is not the only area in Arcadia that has been flooded. The tributaries also are overflowing their banks, ruining some neighborhoods and communities. We spoke to some high school sweethearts that are now that now have their home flooded. Take a look. The front window of the house it is about three inches below the windows. High water trucks and boats are the only ways to get to the home of Zach Beasley. He and his girlfriend lived here for just seven months before Irma's rain caused the horse creek to rise. Everything we have is gone. I mean, it's sad. This was our home, our only place. Here at the house, the water is just over ankle deep, but this is not the worst of it. Zach and his family telling me at one point the water was nearly as high as this wall. Inside, murky water coats the floors, tadpoles, and other animals now claim the house as their own. Everything is gone. We're still making payments on this stuff. They were able to salvage some things, including Zach's diabetic supplies. Yeah, it's hard. What are you supposed to grab? Zach's girlfriend, Kiara Aiken, rides horses. They evacuated them to safety before the waters rose. Where are you looking to go next? Honestly, we don't know. I mean, I've just been reaching out to people on Facebook, people I know, um, friends with horses, land. You know, seeing if I can keep my horses with them just until we get situated and find a new place. And that new place could be not just out of town, but out of state. They already flooded during Harvey just two weeks ago. We can't afford to start over 20 times. I mean, once or twice, okay, but every time it rains, we can't afford to do it. Now, Zach told me that he has reached out to FEMA to try to get some assistance, but he's not able to right now because this isn't technically a disaster zone yet. The governor's office tells me they have requested disaster be declared federally for the entire state, but only a few counties have been so far. So a matter of time as to whether or not that will happen. For now, reporting in Arcadia for ABC 7 News, I'm Kevin Fry. Back to you.